There are quite a few things that I would say define me as a person. One being that I'm bold, I'm very out there. I love arts. You can always find me dancing, always find me singing, doing all kinds of fun artsy things. Those are kind of things that define me. Um, I love being a part of things that are bigger than myself, like music videos, protests, movements. I love being a part of any and everything like that. No pain, no gain, no chills, no thrills. Tia, what do you do? I do a lot of things, I'd say. I am a streamer. I stream with uh, The Empress Nile and I also stream by myself on my own YouTube channel. I'm a dancer. I'm a part of a dance group and we do stuff for the Japanese embassy and the Korean embassy of Jamaica. I also sing. I don't sing professionally anymore, but I will do music things. So I've been a part of many music videos such as Elephant Man Find It and Cyanide by Coffee and Daniel Caesar. Um, I do a little bit of acting. I really and truly, I just love to be a part of the, the, the bigger things. How important is your physical appearance to you, Tia? My image is very important in just about everything that I do. My image is how I make a living, you know? So I try to keep myself in a positive light um, socially, and I also try to keep my physical appearance uh, where it is right now. I, like I said, I do music videos, I do commercials and you know, they're going to want you to look a special type of way and I have to maintain that. So I do exercise and yoga and so forth to keep my body where it's at. Um, and I, I do not want to be one of those persons, even though I'm not saying that it's wrong, you know, whatever you want to do, you do. But I personally would not like to be one of those persons who are overweight at 40, 50, 60. So I aim to keep my body at this point and in the future I'm hoping to push forward fitness on other persons. So I want to be able to look good for me and for them. Okay, your first gaming experience, what was that? My first experience with games was Super Mario, the original Super Mario, and it was amazing, not just because of the game, but because for the first time ever, me and my family, my dad, my mom, my brother, we're all doing something together as a family, and nobody can take their eye off the screen. Everybody wants to go next, everybody wants to see what's happening, and Super Mario, it holds, a, it holds a special place in my heart, especially Luigi. Luigi is my baby. Um, whenever I see Super Mario come out with a game, I'm interested. What was your first most memorable gaming experience though? So my first memorable experience with video games would still have to be Super Mario. Um, when I collected the flower for the first time because I used to avoid it I used to avoid the flower because I thought that the flower was bad, but it wasn't bad I collected it and I was spitting love all like that was so cool to me after that I just wanted to play every and any type of games Dear what's your favorite thing to do? Hmm my favorite thing to do ever well it's between two things and it's really hard to choose between the two but I'm gonna say modeling is my favorite thing to do. Close second would have to be gaming because gaming takes up a lot of time. You see, the thing about this map is that you can almost predict where people are going to be. Let me be honest, like I will say I'm gonna play a game for one hour and I'll be on it for six hours. So gaming does take the close second, but modeling is definitely my favorite thing to do ever. There's just something about being in front of a camera that feels so natural to me and it just makes me so happy to see pictures when they come out. Um, not really for a conceited purpose because many people think, when they think of modeling or people who enjoy modeling, they think that you're conceited. 
but being a part of something that's artistic it's it's a feeling that you can't really explain like looking back at a picture and knowing that you are a part of that you know it's an amazing feeling so definitely modeling <laughs> okay what's your favorite food if you know vivid queen in real life or if you follow me on instagram you know i'm a huge 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 foodie i absolutely love food so it's really hard for me to pick a favorite food but i'm gonna pick one favorite jamaican food and one favorite japanese food seeing that those are my two most favorites uh, my favorite jamaican food has to be stew peas it's so delicious oh. I love soupy so much and my favorite Japanese food would have to be a sushi and it's kani mayo. Kani mayo is the second sushi I've ever tasted and it blew my mind away like every time when I go for Japanese food it has to be kani mayo and whenever I get a call from my mom and she says that she made stew peas, that's me heading home. <laughs> Tell me your favorite retro game. Okay, so my favorite retro game has to be Contra. Um, for many reasons, but the main reason is because it was one of the hardest games I can remember playing. Like that game took my time, took my time, took my energy. It made me frustrated, it made me sad, it made me happy. Like that game took a lot of emotions and just like mixed them up inside of me. And I never finished it. No matter how hard I tried, I did not finish Contra. I know I'm hearing that there's a cheat code that everybody else used to finish it. And nobody told me about it. Nobody. Like, Ono couldn't tell me about it? Seriously? What's your favorite current gen game? So I don't really have a favorite um, new generation game. But I do play... Um, among Us, um, Call of Duty Mobile, and I play PUBG on my YouTube channel. So those are the games that I'm playing actively right now, but I don't have a favorite right now. Tia, what's your favorite current gen console? So I'm a big lover of the NES, but currently I'm a PC gamer. I've been a PC gamer for years and I don't know, like I can respect the PS4 and I can respect the Xbox, but the PC gaming is where it's at. Come on, guys. What was your first gaming console? My first gaming console ever was the NES. And man, definitely a great start. Like if I had a child in those days, I'd definitely start with the NES. It was a great experience and it kind of it helped me get off of the ground because remember I'm coming from a place where I've never played games before and I don't know what's happening and the NES, it, it acts as a beginner console in a sense where everything is kind of simple and to the point and yeah. Which next gen do you want next? So I am a PC gamer and I will live by the PC but... <sighs> You cannot tell me that that PS5 don't look sexy. Like, come on guys, I want it so bad. I want it so bad. A wise woman once said, if you don't have a solution for a problem, don't point it out. Anything else is complaining and nagging. Tell me about your life as a Valkyrie. Can I just say that being a Valkyrie is like one of the best things ever in my life right now. I love being a Valkyrie and we do so much we work exclusively with the love video game tv and wayne we love you uh, we do skits we do videos like dance videos and we chill we play games and we talk to people who support us on our streams uh, we actually so we actually celebrated empress nile's birthday a few months ago and we just went all out you know but we kept everything in line with what we are about and what we're trying to promote which is culture and gaming and everything so we did go out for her birthday but we also streamed we also did video game shoots and so so on and so forth 
So yeah, we do a lot really. Why be a Valkyrie, dear? Why be a Valkyrie? I mean, that's not a question you should be asking me because it's it's so easy to see why be a Valkyrie. We are a supportive group. We love you um, as you should be loved. We love everybody equally. Um, we're trying to push Africans out there. You know, we don't have a lot of representation in the current media. And it would be so awesome to see more people like me on TV and more people like me on social media and so forth. So sometimes you feel lonely or you feel misrepresented as a people and we're here to represent African culture, African people the right way, you know? So that's why. your favorite Valkyrie here, Vivid Queen. I'm here with the Lab Video Game TV and here our game is never over. <laughs>